What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Jordan's Guitar Channel. I'm your host Jordan. Today we're going to be talking about why you just need a single humbucker for metal and a single volume. No tone, no neck pickup, man. So I have gotten a ton of comments, phone calls, questions, messages about this guitar in particular. This is my E2 M1 NT and a lot of people have a lot of questions, man. The first question is, is it worth $2,000? Uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you straight up, up front, it's worth two grand, man. And the reason for that is, in 2023, all guitars are expensive. If you want to step into something nice, for $2,000, unfortunately, that's about the starting point. And so you're going to get, uh, the, the E2 is the ESP standard line. So you're going to get essentially an ESP standard Made in Japan, same luthier, same materials, etc., etc., as a guitar that says ESP on it. Um, now, the second thing I get is, well, there's no neck humbucker, and there's no tone knob, and there's no this, and there's no slip. You don't need any of that, bro. Are you playing metal? Are you playing metal, dude? Are you... <laughs> Are you playing metal? You don't need any of that, bro. And the reason it's taken me so long to put out a video, 10, 11 days, something like that, man, is I've done a lot of research, talking to people, friends of mine, metal guitar players, Facebook groups, forums, and kind of taking polls and getting an overall picture. And the vast majority of metal players are saying, yeah, dude, I don't need a tone knob, dude. I crank it up to 10 and leave it alone. Same thing with the volume knob, dude. They crank it up to 10 and leave it alone. They live on the bridge humbucker because they want that bright, sharp attack when they're playing metal guitar. Uh, yes, you do have a few guys that have to have the neck humbucker. They have to have the switch. They have to have the tone knob because they think they're an obituary. Um, but those guys seem to be becoming the minority. Those seem to be your sweep arpeggio type of guys, which is great, man. That's a fantastic skill to have. I'm not that guy. And there's a lot of people that aren't those guys. We just want to play straight up caveman brutal metal, dude. And if you want to do that and you want to simplify things as, as much as possible, get you one of these, man. If you don't have two grand to spend on one of these guitars, uh, LTD has a black metal series, uh, which are about half the price and it's an LTD made by the same company um, different pickup variations different body styles for the LTD black metal and the Arctic metal series if you want to check those out now I'm gonna recommend that you check out the E2 because that's my personal opinion that's what I have experience with and uh, it's really funny I got a, a friend of mine he plays in a pretty big death metal band and he's been a big Jackson guy for a lot of years and he's called me several times and like he's wanting me to talk him into buying one of these guitars because he's like, man, if I had the money to do a custom shop Jackson, it would look almost exactly like this, this E2. And I'm like, yeah, bro. Like once you've been playing metal for so long, you, you just don't need any, anything else, man. You want to simplify it as much as possible. And actually one of the things that I'm working on doing I can't decide, man. Y'all y'all leave me some opinions down below. I'm thinking about removing this volume knob and just putting a toggle kill switch because my only gripe about this guitar, and this unfortunately uh, is on a lot of modern metal guitars, and if there's anybody from a big company watching this, which I highly doubt, move this like right here. Just, just like an inch over, bro. Because when you're playing, see, you hit this. Not cool. So what I want to do is take this out, put a toggle switch, a toggle kill switch. So when it's this way, it's on. And so I purposely have to that to turn it off. And so when I'm playing, if I hit this, it just stays on. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, want to know more about this guitar, want to know more 
of my opinions on this stuff, dude, feel free to comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer your questions and help you out in any way I can. Um, again, much love and support to all the subscribers and people who are coming out and showing the channel some love and keeping this thing going. Uh, Y'all are the real MVPs, man. If you like what you saw here today, please comment, like, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. It helps me keep putting out these videos and spending my own money on gear uh, to bring to you guys and try to help you out in some way. Uh, until next time, guys, much metal, much love, and much peace. Later.